I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. It is another disappointing week. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, we are not nailing these picks. Like, you would think it's literally just a 50-50 at the end of the day. Let's go ahead and break this thing down how it is. I have a 50-50 shot at getting this right or wrong, and for some reason, I am almost dead even in this. Legitimately, the statistics are checking out for the first time in forever. Because we just had another week where we basically went average once again. On the season before this week, we were 32-32. and 32. That was the record. This week, we went 8-6, and six, so slightly positive. It's not technically 50-50. We're almost right there. We have a record of 40 and 38. We are plus two on the season. I want to keep saying, hey, we're going to be better. We're going to be better. But through six weeks so far, we are not looking fantastic. We are basically 50-50, 40 and 38. Not great. Let's go ahead and dive into week seven, though. These are my picks and predictions. I just need you guys to lie like women do to each other and hype me up right now because I need it. And here we go. Here's week six, man. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Seattle versus the 49ers. It's a division game, right? The Cardinals division, we need somebody to lose this. And if we had anybody who we need to lose more, it is probably Seattle. I'm rooting for the 49ers and I think they are the better team and on paper, they're gonna get things done. I think a Geno Smith benching is on the horizon. Just a matter of time, man. And the 49ers, they gotta get things right. Otherwise their season is going to fold and they have so much salary. So if this season disappoints, man, the 49ers are going to blow up right in front of our eyes. Seattle, I just can't see a way they get it done. I mean, their run game has been terrible. They need to get Kenneth Walker more involved. Maybe they get that done against the 49ers. Their defense is pretty good, but who knows, man. I'm rocking San Fran here. Washington versus Baltimore. This is such an interesting, game because I really don't know where to pick because this is a like legitimate test for the commanders. They've been tested. I think the Cardinals are a really solid team. The Bengals offensively are fantastic and this is like a legit overall team test. How can they combat against one of the best teams in the entire NFL? We're gonna find out, man. Is Jaden Daniels legitimately him? I'm gonna say he is. So you guys can call me crazy all you want. I know the Ravens probably could combat them very well. That defense is insane. Lamar Jackson, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Derrick Henry is a monster. I understand it. I'm rocking the freaking commanders. I don't know why it's just the heart telling me, and this is why I'm dead even. I'm listening to this thing right here. This thing is not doing me very well, but we're doing it, man. This is the NFL. It's unpredictable. Screw it. Let it ride. Let's go ahead and go to the Texans and the Patriots. I think the Texans are the better team in this one. Better quarterback, better almost everything. And I just think the Patriots, they will play them pretty tough. I think that is going to happen. I believe this is Drake May's first start, if I'm not mistaken. So I think they're going to rally behind their guy, but I just don't think they're going to have enough to get it done. It is going to be a close game. And I think the Patriots are going to lose, but they are going to give up a great fight. So, I mean, hey, there's effort in that. Then we got the Browns versus the freaking Philadelphia Eagles, who have been so disappointing this year. I thought they were going to be a lot better. They have not been, but clearly. Cleveland has disappointed even more. And we're just gonna go ahead and rock Philadelphia here, man. I don't believe in Cleveland at all. I had high hopes for Deshaun Watson coming into this year and he has let me down entirely. So my hope and my bandwagon is off on them. That was how it was with Jacksonville and they decided they wanted to be a good football team all of a sudden and finally get a win. So I could see Cleveland winning just because I'm picking against them. And that's just typically what happens. But we're rocking Philadelphia. I still think they are the better team. I think AJ Brown and Devontae Smith are both back practicing if I'm not mistaken. So there's a chance that both of them are a go. That offense might be fantastic. We'll see what happens. Denver in the Chargers. I think this is just the S best of the week. I am rocking Denver in this one. They have a better defense. Bo Nix hasn't been playing fantastic, but at the end of the day, he's getting the job done. He's doing just enough to win football games, rallying behind this defense. And I think the defense is going to step up. Bo Nix is going to have a way better game and they're going to find a way to get it done. The division game too, that would be a huge win. And this is also a division game. The Falcons and the Panthers don't believe in the Panthers at all. We're rocking the Falcons. Next game, Bengals Giants. I think it is finally time that the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burrow get this thing right. That offense has been going at an all-time pace. Like Joe Burrow has looked fan fantastic and he's getting let down by the defense he's playing elite level quarterback i think he has 12 touchdowns and two interceptions the giants have daniel jones again if you guys are a fan of the channel or have been watching these predictions don't believe in that man whatsoever we're rocking against him this week until he is benched i will not pick the giants book that this is where they're going to start streaking but it is what it is we're going to go to the top into the london game we have the bears versus the jaguars very tough game to pick but i'm going to go with the bears right here caleb williams is finally developing into a leader is what dj moore said and he said it with a little more sass but he said that was basically what was going on in chicago and their defense is fantastic jaguars have struggled all year finally got their first win don't think they're going to be enough jacksonville you better not do it to me two times in a week i believed in you all season and you were zero and four stop winning games get that through your head cardinals packers give me cardinals i broke this down on my channel if you guys want to watch a recap go ahead and check that out i think it's gonna be a close one but i think the cardinals will edge them out and then we have the buccaneers versus the saints where basically just flip a coin at this point matter of fact hey siri flip a coin 
heads. It's heads. We're rocking with the Saints. Go ahead and book that down. Like legitimately, I don't know. The Saints were my pick to begin with anyway, so I'm comfortable with this. Moving on to the next game because without reason, we are picking New Orleans. We have the Colts and the Titans. Give me the Colts. The Titans are a dumpster fire. Will Levis, I'm pretty sure he got benched or he got injured, but he is a walking meme. Colts got Joe Flacco. Big D shiesty. Flacco, he is a demon. Like Joe Flacco gets in the game, he's a baller. KD said it. When he's in the game, he's hooping. We're rocking shiesty here. And then we have the Steelers versus the Raiders. Like if you tune into this game, you're a fan or you're just delusional. We're rocking Pittsburgh. I don't know by how much, but I'm not even confident in this. There's a chance the Raiders win because their defense has been pretty decent, if I'm not mistaken. But the Steelers are just... I don't know, man. I'm not a Justin Fields believer. I don't know where to stand with this team. I don't know. We'll not be tuning in. I will tell you that much. And then Detroit versus the Cowboys. I'm going Cowboys here. Gut feeling might be wrong here because my gut is pretty wrong about a lot of things like we've discussed in games prior, but we're going Dallas, man. This is going to be a fun game to tune into. Two high-powered teams. Dallas has basically no run game. It'll be very interesting to see if they do pull this off. There's been a lot of tensions going high. C.D. Lamb lip reading to Dak Prescott. No one knows what he's saying. If you guys know what he's saying, go ahead and let me know, please, because literally clueless right now and then detroit you know they are a fantastic football team this game could go either way the nfl doesn't always go how it's supposed to like on paper i want to pick detroit but i'm feeling dallas this week dak prescott do not let me down We've done that to cowboys fans enough and then we're gonna go ahead to go to the Bills game we're going to rock buffalo buffalo you are winning this the jets are basically collapsing in front of our eyes robert sala just got fired wasn't allowed back into the building apparently security escorted him out i don't know what all that was about but i mean that team does not seem like things are going great love aaron Rodgers, but like that team you got to get a grip man you got to get a grip i don't know what's going on down there if they could get this win on monday night football it would be huge for their team huge for their organization but i don't know if they're gonna get it done i'm not feeling it in my heart of hearts josh allen has been a demon all season long so i'm rocking buffalo uh, i'm not confident in this one either there's a lot of games i'm not confident in but we're putting the picks on the board and we're gonna see what happens because we are trying to trend in a positive direction Please, let's go at least 10 plus wins this week. We can go 16 and 0. That would be perfect. I would not mind whatsoever. That would actually be beautiful. Let's go ahead and bless me. Yeah, but these are my picks, man. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these down in the comment section below. Again, not very confident, but we're throwing the picks on the board. We're throwing the darts and we're going to see what happens at the end of the week. We're going to see if we can finally trend into a positive direction. There is a lot of football going forward. So let's see what happens. With that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video, man. If you guys are a fan of the channel or ended up enjoying today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post Arizona Cardinals and NFL related content. If you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. We are so close to 7,000 subscribers, man. We are probably 80 away by the time I'm recording this right now. So go ahead and smash that. That being said, though, that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. Hello.